welcome back to Headstrong's A Series of Little Problems. I say welcome back as if you've watched another one. Uh, if you've not watched another one, then just welcome. If you have watched one, welcome back. Apparently this is welcome back, this is welcome. Anyway, in a series of little problems, what we're doing and what I'm doing is giving you five minutes, um, little guides about some of the most common things, the emotional things that affect our lives and our minds. Today, I want to talk to you about depression, um, the black dog, uh, and all these other names and euphemisms that people have for this um, well, all too common uh, emotional experience that really, really affects people's lives. I worked with depression from the very beginning uh, of doing my job and learning the things and the skills that I now have. And therefore, it is a huge passion of mine um, to talk to people about it and what it is. So, let me answer that question. What is depression? Well, depression is many things. People say that it's an illness. If, I'm sorry if this isn't fitting with your current model of the world, but I want to say at the moment that actually I don't believe that it is an illness. For me, it's a process of mind. Uh, and this process, I'm not saying happens consciously in any way. It's an unconscious process of mind. What I mean by unconscious is you're not doing it on purpose. It is almost happening behind the scenes somewhere in here, but it is happening inside your mind. It's not something where you're maybe broken or twisted uh, and therefore it's an inevitability. It's happening because of things that are in here. And therefore what happens quite often is, well, two things for me. And this is why I like to speak to people about when they come and see us to help uh, start to recover from depression. Two things. Number one, uh, and the first thing that happens, is you start to lose your purpose. You start to lose your idea that there's any point, for instance, in doing anything. Potentially, this is because of a lot of pain that happens. So, for instance, maybe in your relationship, you work really hard to fix it, yet it keeps on going wrong. Or in your job, you work really hard to try and get promotion or to try and achieve, but something keeps getting in your way. And it just gets to this point where number two happens, which is you get a huge attack of the why bothers. And when you start to get this attack of the why bothers, you know, why bother? Why bother trying hard? Why bother having a shower? Why bother this all of a sudden can cause a spiral in your life that causes it to get to that place where people talk about that big black dog. I know that it sounds very simplistic to boil it down to these ideas of a lack of purpose. And by the way, a lack of purpose, just to explain, what I mean is there's nothing out there. There's, it's almost as if there's no future. When you think about the future, there's nothing there apart from potentially darkness uh, or pain. And therefore, that obviously leads to that number two, the why bothers. So, what can we do about it? Is it really possible to find a purpose again? Well, it actually is. One of the most common things that people do when they've got depression is that they make things very complex. So what I mean by that is if I was just to go to someone um, who was having a good day uh, and whose life was running along perfectly normally, and I was to say to you, uh, let's go for a walk in the park. And you go like that, yeah, do you know what, that'd be nice. It's a lovely day outside, let's go for a walk in the park. Now let's replace that with someone who maybe is experiencing depression. I say something like, okay, well, let's go for a walk in the park. Now all of a sudden what happens in their mind, because of the way that that mind works and the way that that mind is now working and programmed, what begins to happen is a series of steps, each of which that feel really difficult. So for example, the person who's depressed begins to run pictures of, well, I don't know what boots to wear and I've not even got my socks on and I've not had a shower yet, so uh, I'd have to go for a shower and once I've been for my shower, I don't know, I'd have to do my hair and then I need to get my jacket and oh, and then I don't know what jacket, is it cold? I don't know, is it cold? I've not got gloves. Um, uh, if it's cold outside, then am, am I not going to need gloves? I, I don't know. I mean, it's just starting to, it's just starting to be a hassle. Do you know what? I think I'll just leave it. It's, it's fine. See, this is one of the issues about depression. Just simple tasks can sometimes feel very difficult. But actually, what's happening is we're also training, and the depressive mind is training itself into not doing anything. It's actually becoming harder and harder every time it runs. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It becomes more and more layers of why bother as they begin to build up, and slowly but surely, you can't peer out from underneath, and all of a sudden, you're drowning. Okay, so I have two tips for you to begin to get yourself to a place um, that is much better. Can I just say, take your time with these. Don't expect that these will just happen in minutes or days, but they just start a process that becomes easier and easier. Number one, we have to start training your mind to be able to achieve things. So what I want you to do is I want you to start thinking about just small tasks that you can do, and I want you to complete them. 
but small tasks. I remember once working with someone who said to me, oh my God, but my spare room's a total mess. So her task for that whole week was just to tidy that spare room. And you know what? Once she'd done that, she felt a feeling of, of accomplishment. Something had been done. She really did a good job of it. And then what we did was build another task on top of that. Okay, what's next? And this has got to be a long process. Often when we're experiencing depression, what happens is we try and move too fast, too quickly. Just slow it down. Let's do one step at a time. But number two ties into that one, which is do something every day. Even if it's just about going for a walk. Even if it's just getting up and getting dressed. Just do something every day. And I just say that the getting dressed one is one of my most um, popular uh, and, and common tips that I give people uh, who are experiencing depression. It's really important. Up and get dressed as if you're going somewhere. It gives your mind, funnily enough, that sense of purpose. And therefore, all of a sudden, uh, it finds you find it easier to be able to go and do things. If somebody therefore calls by and says, do you want to go for a walk to the park? You can say, well, actually, funnily enough, I'm totally ready already and um, why not I'll just slip my shoes on and I'll go get up every day and get dressed of course if you want to speak to us at Headstrong about depression or any other uh, mental thing that's going on inside your head then please shout us the email addresses are going to pop up here on the screen in just a couple of minutes or just a couple of seconds even uh, and I hope you come back and join us for more of our series of little problems I'll see you again soon Bye.